So um, why don't we start up in the hip region? Okay, because even if people come to me for plantar fasciitis, uh, I will tell them that sometimes what they're feeling that's pulling down here in their foot is actually initiating up in the hip. So yeah, let's start exactly. up there. Exactly, let's start up there. All right. It's nice if you start with a hand below and above. Yeah. The gluteal region. Exactly. Uh, just to kind of help them feel like, okay, this is where I am now, yep. and then you can move in. Exactly. Yep. Um, so, and like kind of working around some of the bony landmarks, I think is a good place to start if you're um, trying to find these structures on a patient. Trying to find the greater trochanter of the femur is, is usually pretty easy. Right. Um, on the outside and the lateral side. Um, sort of on the bottom, like right underneath their butt cheek, is where you can find the ischial tuberosity. Great. Um, and Drop then, that hind foot back a little bit so you're not bending over quite so much. Good suggestion. Thank you. Um, and then if you think about the space like right in between your hands, that's going to be the path for the sciatic nerve. You can feel, actually, if you feel this ischial tuberosity here, mm -hmm. you can go on up to the top of that ischial tuberosity mm -hmm. and even narrow the field a little bit more there. Great. Um, Up on the uh, upper part of the gluteal region, you can um, kind of work your fingers back and forth and find the edge of the iliac crest. Now, see, they can't see anything. Let's uh, come around to the other side. So, yeah. Okay. So, his iliac crest is really easy to find if you just run your fingers sort of up and down on this area. And that iliac crest is really important. It's a origin and insertion for muscles from your back and for your gluteal muscles. So that's a really important one to find to sort of landmark this whole area. And I would say these three landmarks are pretty big ones. Um, another yes. thing to look for would be um, the position of the sacrum um, and where that's at in this area and trying to find where the sacroiliac joints are at um, kind of right in this area. Um, you can feel bone on each side um, ilium, iliac crest ending here, sacrum here, this would be the posterior superior iliac spine. Yes. Matt, can I just kind of pull these down just a tad? Go for it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see here his sacrum, uh, I hope. Yeah, there's like a shadow, like right there and right there. Right. Okay, so um, I'm going to say that if you come lateral to the sacrum, you can feel the iliac crest and um, if you go up just a little bit farther you can feel the top of the iliac crest here and then drop off the top into this groove where the gluteal muscles originate. Um, it's like, is it's like is a there trough. a name for that groove? Uh, I, I called know, it a trough. Yeah, I, I did. Know, I don't know what the, the if there is a name for it, but so this is one of the places that we're going to start is right above the iliac crest here. Uh, if you just kind of poke your thumb into 
uh, underneath the erector spinae or the paraspinals, uh, you can almost get to the transverse processes of the lumbar spine where the quadratus lumborum uh, attaches to the, those transverse processes.